guys, thanks for tuning in once again. Today we're doing some deadlifts, so I'm working on strength, really uh, trying to improve my strength and form for my deadlift. Uh, right now I'm evaluating myself and I can see that I could be a little more uh, uh, better on this form. Um, I could have sat back more on my hips, really uh, not try to push off from my hips early uh, when I come up, uh, so I should know better than that, uh, really keep my back straight. Um, but I'm still working on that, still on that journey, uh, doing some lightweight reps and then uh, getting the body warmed up to load up. So right now I just loaded up the bar for my first set. Uh, we're doing a heavy five uh, reps uh, on strength. So right now I can see that the bar is really taking me down because of the, um, the amount of weight that's uh, pulling me. So I really wanted to keep my back straight, really sit down on my hips as I'm not doing right now. So uh, <laughs> they're really uh, being a bad example right now, but I'm improving, I'm still working on it. Um, Still working on uh, getting my uh, uh, hips uh, involved, and it's more. This is more of like a standing leg press, uh, from what I was told, from what I uh, uh, researched in as well. Um, my second set felt a lot better. Uh, I felt like I got more uh, of a uh, good lift off in those three reps, but uh, I see that my uh, my foot feet placement are kind of uh, kind of off, a little staggered. And uh, I didn't realize that until I uh, watched this video. But um, like I said, uh, still working on that. The great thing about uh, deadlift days is I could definitely wear my Converse. I love wearing my Chuck Taylors um, and my uh, my flat tops. So uh, right now I'm wearing my Superman flat tops. Uh, getting really hyped, um, doing my last set. This is supposed to be one rep max, uh, close to 90%. But uh, I felt a little good on this. Uh, I felt like I uh, really got my hamstrings and uh, uh, full hip motion involved when I uh, did this lift. So I got, uh, I felt like I could do a couple more. It really felt good doing this. Uh, <laughs> I felt really amped up. Uh, one day I plan on uh, investing on a uh, core belt so I could really uh, get used to engaging my core when I do these lifts. And um, yeah, just for added safety. All right, so this next exercise I'm doing right now is suitcase deadlifts. It's a great uh, deadlift accessory exercise. Um, this one really helps with uh, lateral core stabilization. Uh, it's really great, especially when you have power locks, uh, strength locks, I would say, when you're doing uh, some heavy, uh, heavy lifting. So that way uh, I get my core really strong. Um, I know that I'm activating all my core muscles to get involved in those big lift movements. So this was really great. Um, I really felt this the following day. Like my sides were just killing me. Um, but yeah, I really enjoy this exercise and started adding this to my routine. In the future, I do plan on uh, doing this with a barbell uh, instead of a dumbbell. Uh, that way I could, uh, I don't know, I feel like it's more uh, easy for me to cue myself when I'm uh, bringing the, the weight down and uh, keeping my chest up rather than like uh, lean forward and have the dumbbell take me down. So it's like kind of doing a, a single dumbbell squat. But um, I'll get used to this uh, eventually in the future. Um, I really enjoy this. So I recommend doing it if you're doing any uh, heavy lifting uh, for uh, deadlifts. Definitely a great accessory training. Right now hitting the core, doing some hanging uh, knee tucks with a weight. So just uh, wrapping up the rest of the day, getting my uh, core strong, uh, really hitting it pretty hard as many reps possible. Uh, yeah, it was a, it was a nice uh, quick session in the gym. Uh, mainly spent a lot of time doing all those deadlifts. So yeah, I really appreciate you guys coming down to check out the channel. In the future, I'm gonna be working on uh, videos for uh, meal prepping and supplementation uh, due to a couple questions on my Twitter and my Instagram feed. So um, really look forward to that in the future. And I really appreciate you guys for tuning in. Thanks a lot, guys. Once again, take care and stay strong.